Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome to question of the day. Let's have a look at today's question. So this says, uh, if A and B are two matrices of the same order, and it is said that A plus B is equal to B plus A, then this implies that addition is commutative, associative, additive, or additive identity. Okay. So better the answer to this question is commutative. But let us go ahead and understand all four properties of matrices. So, the first property. But a commutative states that A plus B should be equal to B plus A. That is the commutative property of matrices. But an associative property, it states that a plus, when I do B plus C first and then add A to it, it is equal to doing A plus B first and then adding C to it. So it's the same thing. That is called the associative property. So existence of uh, the additive identity. So the additive identity says that there exists a null matrix such that when you add to any matrix, you get the matrix itself. So, for example, if I have a matrix 1, 0, 0, 4, I can add a null matrix to it, such that I will get back my original matrix. That is called additive identity. That means that the identity is there. Identity stays. So that property is called additive identity. Last. The fourth property is called beta the additive inverse. Additive inverse says that, so let me just write down. Additive inverse. Additive inverse says that, let A be any matrix such that it has these elements A, I, J, and its order is M cross N, this is any matrix, then there exists another matrix minus A, such that A plus minus A should give you zero, or minus A plus A should give you zero. So there exists any matrix such that, you know, so for example, let's take the example. So suppose my A matrix is one, minus two, three, zero then minus of a will become beta what? Minus a, minus 3, 2 and 0. So when you will do a plus minus a, you will get 0. So there exists one such matrix minus a, such that when you will add it to a, you will get the answer as 0. So beta, out of all these four, this property that is asked in the question is part a, commutative so the answer to this question is commutative, right? Okay, now I am giving you a question and you have to go ahead and give me the answer to that question. So please write down. If the demand function is P is equal to 4 minus 5X, give me the value of X such that you have unit elasticity value of x such that you get unit elasticity so the options are 2 by 5 5 by 2 3 by 5 none what should be the value of x for unit elasticity okay thank you beta 